it's too late to play a party. Hey, do you want to learn how to play sorry on a party? Me either. You want the course and lyrics to this one? They're on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash And don't forget to subscribe to our second channel with the link in the description. I'm going to show you two different ways in which you can play the song. The first way is like this with some um, bar chords and, um, and it's not too hard. And the second way I'm going to show you is with using a capo on the first fret. So I'm going to show you some open chord versions that you can use, okay, with the capo on the first fret. Much easier way to play it. Obviously it doesn't sound as cool, but um, it's a little bit easier for you. And if you don't actually have a capo but want to learn the open chord version, I'm going to teach you how to play it without the capo. And then if you do have one, you just put it on the first fret and then you're away. Exactly the same. Alright, so let's get started with the real, air quotations, upside down bunny rabbits version. Okay, so we're going to use uh, three bar chords, but they're, they're cool ones and good ones to learn and add to your arsenal of chord firepower. First finger is going to bar the 4th fret, all of the strings. The middle finger goes to the 5th fret of your G string. Hi, yucky G strings! And then these two fingers are going to go to the 6th fret of your D and A strings. Okay, so basically, bar the 4th fret with your 1st finger, then play an E shaped bar chord above it. Just like an E like that, but up here now. That is called an A flat. Okay, or a G sharp, but we're in a flat key, so we're going to call it flat. Cool story, bro! So, A flat, then move the bar down one fret, and then play a A minor 7 shape. Like an A minor 7, but up here now. Okay, and that's called a C minor 7. And the bass note is this third fret of your A string. Okay, C bass. So, we've got A flat, we've got a C minor 7. Then the last chord we're going to play is a B flat suspended chord okay because we're going to add this extra note so move the bar now from the third fret to the first fret not all of the strings just the highest five one two three four five then on the third fret you're going to bar with your ring finger even if you're not married on the third fret of the b string g string and d string like so and it might be a little bit tricky some people prefer to play it like this with the, like an a chord but a fret higher and that's completely fine. It's like tomato, tomato, potato, potato, whatever you prefer. I prefer this one. Cool story again, bro. And, uh, but we're going to add this note up here, okay, which is an E flat. Okay, so that, to do that, if you're playing it like me, it's going to be like this. And then your little finger is going to be up here on the fourth fret of your B string, your second string. One, two, okay. Okay, to give you that sound. If you're playing your B flat chord like this, quite simply, you just move your little finger up to the fourth fret of your B string. Okay, gives you that sound. So, A flat, C minor seven, B flat suspended, or like that. However you are, however you're comfortable, that's the main thing. All right, so those are our three chords, and also I'm going to teach you how to play. The, um, the rhythm for it, I'm playing it like um, that sort of dance hall, dum, bum, 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 sort of feel. Um, so I'm going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, because the last chord is how for two rounds. So one, two, three. Now, the trick is in the right hand and the left hand. You're only playing the chords very briefly and then letting go of the chord to make it short and sharp. Okay, so I'm plucking the lower string with my thumb. These three fingers are playing the B string, G string, and D string. Okay, the second, second, third, and fourth strings. Okay, and I'm playing one, two, three. But every time I pluck with my left hand, I'm letting go of the chord a little bit. So I play it and then let go of the tension just a little bit, not take my hand right off, but just give it so slightly lift off and it makes the chord stop ringing. One, two, three. Move it down. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so a short, sharp. Uh, one, two, but, 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 that sort of feel. All right. 
And even after one, two, three, and you can slap the guitar just by doing that, and that adds a little bit of percussiveness. So one, two, slap. What am I doing? How did I do that slap? What was I doing? Let me just try and figure that out. Oh yeah, so I'm going one, two, slap, three. One, two, yeah, one, two, slap, three. One, two, slap, three. Yeah, one, two, slap, three. Okay, one, two, slap, three. 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 All right, and that's that. Now let me just show you the, uh, da 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 ba ba da ba da So, Take your first finger and go to the third fret of your G string. Oh, disgusting. Then to the fourth fret on the string above it with your middle finger. That one. So. And then first finger to the third fret of your higher string. Okay. So it's like, it's basically the shape of a D chord there. But a fret higher, so. And we're playing that twice. Then you're going to use your little finger on the sixth fret of your B string. And then down to the four, then down a string on the G string to the fifth to the third. Okay, so really slowly we're going, we're making the D shape, and then down to the B string on the six, four, down the string to the G string to the five to the three. And I'm actually pulling off there, so I'm playing the note once. Um, on the 6th fret of the B and then I'm pulling off using the finger to pull off to leave the note there on the 4th fret I'm not doing anything with the right hand again okay if you can do that, cool if you can't then just play the note twice and same with this from the 5th down to the 3rd I'm just playing the note once and pulling off okay so G Sounds kind of cool as well. Um, cool. Let's talk about this uh, capo version. If you have a capo, put it on the first fret, and I'm going to teach you these chords. But remember, for people that don't have a capo but still want to rock this easy chord version, I'm going to show you how to play it without a capo. But if you do have one, just put it on the first fret and move everything up a fret. No problems, is that? So first chord is a G, but we've got this open E note at the top. Okay, it's an option. So it's a middle finger, that one to the third fret of your lowest string. Ring finger goes to the third fret of your B string. Then you've got an open E. That's optional, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're going G. Then we're gonna play a B minor seven. Now, um, I guess the, the best way to do that, if you're looking for an open chord version, will be like that. So first finger goes to the second fret of your A string. Middle finger goes to the second fret of your G string. Yuck. And then ring finger goes to the third fret of your B string. Okay, you're ignoring this D string. Okay, so we're going G, B minor 7, A sus. And to do the A sus, what we're doing is, because that finger's already there, we're just moving this one, which was on the second fret of your A string. We're now moving it down a string to the second fret of your D string and playing this open A bass on the fifth fret. Fifth string, sorry. Okay, so we're going G, B minor 7, A sus, A sus, G, B minor 7, A sus. Same strum pattern can work. Or if that's too hard, you can do it. Like your voice is one to one like this, but if you're a complete beginner and you suck heaps, then uh, this is probably a good option. Sorry, that was me. I'm sorry. Whoopsie. So we're gonna go down, up, up, down. Yeah, down, up, up, down. Change. Down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. Remember that you're holding the A chord for twice as long, so two rounds of that stupid strumpet. Down. <laughs> down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, and then you probably play it up to speed. The same 
Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, go to our Facebook page and click like is there as well where you'll find the chords and lyrics and cool stuff like that, announcements and cool stuff like that. Also, doing a giveaway. Giving away this party, man. You can be the life of the party and go to the party. And all you need is a hammer and then you just hit yourself on the head and then everyone's gonna go, oh. This is like a new trend. I believed, man. I'm a believer. That's what they're going to say. Okay? So if you want to be cool like this, all you need is a potty, a bit of biscotti, and then say, you know what? I'm not even salty. <laughs> Are you still watching now? Are you watching this? High quality entertainment stuff. Thanks so much for liking in this, this video. Oh, God bless and goodbye.